welcome to Rovers TV and the LD Nutrition Stadium Featherstone for this round 16 Kingston Press Championship tie between Featherstone Rovers and Hull Kingston Rovers. Today's sponsors, the big match sponsor Economize, man over the match sponsor Stephen Jane Robinson Bookmakers, associate match sponsor a and Financial Solutions, match ball sponsor Pucker Pies. Today's lineups Featherstone Rovers, number one Ian Hardman, number two James Duckworth, 22 Jason Walton, 23 Josh Hardcastle, 4 Missy Tal Papa, 7 Anthony Thackeray, 19 Matty Wildey, 13 Richard Moore, 9 Keel Carlisle, 32 Jordan Baldwinson, 11 Michael Knowles, 12 John Davis and 21 James Lockwood. On the interchange bench we've got number 6 Kyle Briggs, 14 Frankie Mariano, 8 Daryl Griffin, 30 Jack Hormanroyd, head coach John Sharp. Hawkingston Rovers lineup: number two Ben Cocaine, 32 Kieran Moss, 22 Andrew Heffernan, 29 Jake Butler Fleming, 5 Ryan Shaw, 16 Jordan Abdul, 7 Jamie Ellis, 8 Nick Scruton, 9 Sean Lunt, 35 Josh Johnson, 11 Maurice Blair, 13 Daniel Addy, 33 Ben Kavanagh. On the interchange: 10 Chris Clarkson, 21 Rob Mulhern. 30 Joe Cater and 4 Liam Slater, head coach Tim Sheens. Today's referee is Scott Mikulowski. and Rovers out onto the field, accompanied by fireworks and steam. We're hoping the fireworks from behind the community stand anyway. So it's all going on here at the LD Nutrition Stadium this afternoon. It's a party atmosphere. It is, it's the Battle of the Rovers, and what a match I think we're going to see this afternoon as well, Joanne. A fantastic atmosphere here at the Aldi Nutrition Stadium. It's fourth against first, but Featherstone Rovers right in that mix for the top four. A victory today, Joanne, for this Featherstone Rovers team could be huge. Comes to Lockwood, Lockwood goes himself. So Hull KR on that previous set, they were going for the power play, but it didn't come off for them. So Featherston now, across to Harman, Harman with it, Volta, Walton, Walton's the way, he's got Knowles on his inside, Knowles is going to score, Knowles is going to score under the post, and he does. I'm not sure if it is a try, because the ball was hit out of Knowles' hand at the last minute. I think the referee is going to call time off and have a chat with his touch judge about this. Although, to be fair, the referee was in a much better position than his touch judge was. Oh, I didn't see that one myself. I was getting ready to write it down on the, the score sheet we've got. It's, it's been no given as a knock on. on him. The stretch to Hulk KR on their right hand side of defence and Featherstone go that way with Wilde. Thackeray shows and goes, but Wilde got absolutely clattered off the ball after he passed it. Referee stops the clock, but I don't think uh, oh, the touch judge is on the field. I think he's going to his pocket, is the referee. What colour is it going to be? It's a yellow card. And like I say, it, it was a bad hit on Matty Wilde. It was late. I could hear it from here. Yeah, they certainly are. So the tap comes on that 10 metre line. Comes across to Davis. Davis to Harman. Harman to Telepapa in space. Tal Telepapa going for the line. He's over in that right hand corner. It's Missy Telepapa. Fantastic try from Featherstone Rovers. And that is a double punishment for the Robins. It's Chris Cavanna who's gone in the sim bin for 10 minutes. Oh, Ben Cavanna, sorry, it is on here. So the Robins down to 12 men from the very first play from the set. The ball swung out right to Ian Hardman. Ian Hardman takes on the line. The ball swung out wide to Talapapa. Talapapa with a Superman dive over in the corner. That's a double punishment for the meters in from that left hand touch, right hand touch line, sorry. Richard Moore with a cruncher of a tackle there. The Robins don't like it, the referee happy enough. Oh, we've got a bit of biff going on between Moore and Scruton as play carries on. The, the referee might be stopping this game if it carries on. But there's a gap and Abdul's there with the ball. Davis tackles him and uh, it goes to Hardcastle, but it goes forward. So I think play's going to be stopped here. Yeah, the play's going to be 
it starts, it's going to be brought back for the first knock on, I guess. Featherstone Rovers put in at the 20 metre. I don't think half the players knew then what was going on. What a passage to play, though. It's okay. to take this drop out. Okay, it's, then. A, it's a very deep one. It goes up to the halfway line, and Johnson runs it in to the 40. And he's met by Moore, and he drops the ball. Richard Moore putting some fantastic hits in this afternoon. If what? it was on Sky, he'd be on the Barry and Terry Big Hits show. What a tackle that was. I felt that one from here, and what a result that was from the dropout to get turn, a turnover of possession. And Rovers now, with Matthew Wilde, swings it out right to Harcastle. Harcastle through a gap. Harcastle down the right. He had Talapapa on his shoulder. Good cover in defence back, though. A quick play of the ball. Talapapa now to Wilde. Wilde out and sealed to Thackeray. Thackeray looks, he brings it back to Richard Moore. Richard Moore's tackle 20 metres out, Joanne. Thackeray just needed to pass it to the left there. He'd got Minna Hoover, but he was looking on the inside. Anyway, it comes to the left now, Thackeray. Moore injured there by that tackle. He got a hit back there by Hulk So Featherston 10 metres away. Thackeray lays it off to Baldwinson. Baldwinson goes around Scruton, but then gets tackled eight metres short, and it's the last tackle. Moore's on his haunches in back play. Comes across to Thackeray. Thackeray to Wildy. Wildy to Hartman. Hartman to Hardcastle. What a hit from Moss on Hardcastle. After that Simbin in. So Featherston now out the back to the left hand side with Walton. Walton bumps off the first two tacklers, but then he gets wrapped up. <coughs> Still 20 metres away, Featherston. Comes with Lockwood now. This ball's going to be slippy, so. Uh, Featherston need to be careful to retain possession in this set of six. Comes to Thackeray. Thackeray shows it and goes himself, but almost away. <clears throat> Gets brought to the floor, eight metres away, and that's a penalty to Featherston Rovers. As uh, the whole KR players were messing around at the Rook. But what a 20 minutes of rugby league we've seen here this afternoon as Michael Mills now steps forward. Straight between the uprights, that one goes. So with 20 minutes gone here at the Aldi Nutrition Stadium, it's Featherston Rovers 6, Hull Kingston Rovers 0. Line, they're, they're going up steadily here. Jamie Ellis, Jamie Ellis with the pass out the back to Abdul. Abdul, and what a hit by Tala Papa on Ben Kakane. He certainly felt that did Kakane. He doesn't like it's the last tackle, so Featherston to Thackeray. Thackeray puts the kick in, drills it towards that, that touch line. It actually goes to Kakane, and Kakane gets bundled into touch. That's going to be a scrum to Featherston Rovers on the 10 metre. What a kick and chase that was. Featherston with five tackles in the bag here, and it comes to Griffin on the charge, going towards those posts, five metres away. And it's going to come out to that left-hand side. It goes to Wildy, Wildy to Thackeray. Thackeray with the ball turn from Jason Walton. Jason Walton finds the gap and goes over that line. A brilliant pass there from Anthony Thackeray to find the gap for Jason Walton to run through on. What a way to celebrate signing a new two-year deal for Featherston Rovers. Anthony, sorry, Jason Walton hit that gap so perfectly. Managed to get the ball down. And Featherston Rovers stretch out to, with 15 minutes left in the first half, it's Rovers 10. Bulkingston Rovers here. A bit of a mess at the Rook. Comes to Thackeray. Thackeray almost gets nulls away, but just can't. It gets tackled on the halfway. Quick play the ball, and it comes to Jason Walton, who's in space again. He gets the ball to Thackeray. Thackeray to Hartman, who looked to be tackled with the ball before he got the ball there. I the thought, tackle. I thought he was as well. Carlisle with a little kick. It comes off uh, Hulk Ayar, so it's going to be back to one. Griffin just needs to take this ball in and get tackled, which he does. Good play from Daryl Griffin there. It just took a minute then. Have a look at the referee. See if you... Makes it up to 15 metres. So close to Featherstone Rovers in the last bit of this first half. It comes to John Davis. <coughs> Davis tackled five metres away from that Robbins line there. Still the ball's come loose. What's the referee going to say? Yeah. It is a penalty to Rovers. Joanne say take the two, he stretches that lead out to 12. We've got 10 minutes left in the first half. Rovers with a 10 0 lead at the minute. Here he goes then. Nulls strikes the ball and it cleanly goes in between those sticks. 
So Featherstone Rovers extend the lead with 10 minutes left in this first half. Featherstone Rovers 12, Hawkingston Rovers nil. Wildy looks at the ref and shakes his head. Now Griffin with the ball. Featherstone Rovers on the Hulk AR 40. Comes to Thackeray. Thackeray to uh, Briggs. Briggs to Hardman. Hardman holds the ball up. Lovely for Harcastle. Harcastle takes it to the 20. And it's the last tackle. Talapapa goes himself. Oh, oh, we have a fighting back play. I don't know what happened there. I have to admit, Joanne, I was following play like you were then. So was I. I don't know what happened. I'm guessing it could be Daryl Griffin because he played the ball from that position, didn't he? So whatever's gone on, it's something to do with Daryl Griffin. Yeah, Edgar's coming out for Robert Rob Mulhern. Mulhern. It's a yellow for Rob Mulhern. Is Daryl Griffin going to go as well? I, don't, I think he's putting it back in his pocket and the touch judges go away. No, he's going to get it out again, isn't it? He's teasing. He is. He's playing with us. He's Mr. Mikulauskas. He's keeping his hand in his back pocket. Daryl Griffin's going to go as well for a 10 minute, I think. You think they've done that just for the effect of it? <laughs> it's all a stage, isn't it? It's all <laughs> drama. So, uh, Rob Mulhern, Daryl Griffin, both in the bin. Who's the penalty going to go to? Just checking with the touch judge who it's going to go to. Hopefully, Featherstone Rovers. It's going on report, is the incident. It has and gone. it's gone to Featherstone Rovers, so... So, yeah, Featherstone Rovers penalised, really, there, because they were down on the 10-metre line with uh, Talapapa going from dummy half, looking dangerous. Anyway, <laughs> Featherstone with the tap. They've got a set of six, though. Knowles takes it over the 20-metre line. So, both teams down to 12 men for 10 minutes. Griffin and Mulhern off the field. Ormond Royd now. Ormond Royd takes it forward. 12 metres away from that whole KR line. Oh, I would Rovers like him with a score right now. Certainly would, I think we all would. So Matty Wildy, Wildy with a pass to Walton, Walton to Knowles, Knowles to Duckworth, Duckworth going for the line. Yeah. Let's see what the referee He's says. Over. He's going to give Duckworth it. Duckworth has scored in the left hand corner. What a try from James Duckworth. And just to that say, what would Featherstone Rovers give for another score right now? James Duckworth does just that. Superbly taken try by Duckworth. There looked to be a couple of low passes that Michael knows, especially looked to struggle to take the pass. But he took it under his fingertips, managed to get the ball out to Duckworth, who looked has so much work to do, but able to get over in the corner. And what a first half this has been for Featherstone Rovers. It's Featherstone Rovers 16. Hulkingston Rovers nil with a kick to come. And this is what Featherstone Rovers need. They need these quick play of the balls. Wildy from Dummy Harvest on the last. He kicks it. I thought he wasn't going to kick it then. It goes behind Kakane. He collects it. And he uh, passes. And it's a forward pass, surely, referee. That was so forward to Ryan Shaw. And it's not given. And Shaw's away. And if Hulk AR score off this, it'll be a travesty. Referee, come on. That was a forward pass. Kingston Rovers score with Kieran Moss. It was the most forward pass I've ever seen there from Ben Kane. And it's Ferguson Rovers 16, Hawkinson Rovers 6 now as that try is converted. So the Robin factor within 10. So uh, Featherstone Rovers uh, under the cosh here with Abdul. Abdul is over the line. Jordan Abdul there through a gap for Hull Kingston Rovers. The ball swung out to the left, Rovers defence slow to react. And Jordan Abdul saw a gap between the, in between the line, able to get that ball. Tidy play the ball, Wilde swings it into Thackeray, Thackeray to Armandroy, driving for those sticks, 10 metres out, centre field. And, and there's a penalty for Featherstone Rovers. Now do you say the two? Oh yes, oh yes. This will put them more than uh, one score ahead. Take the two, get the ball back, why not? It's under the sticks, you're not going to miss that anyway. For this penalty, Kyle Briggs. And he's successful with those two. Featherstone Rovers leading by 18 points to 10. 27 minutes left in this game with a double substitution. Salter also comes on the field to Ellis. Ellis to Maurice Blair. Blair 
fends off Baldwinson and he fends off Mariano. Oh, Maurice Blair fended off three Featherston Rovers players there. It's the last tackle, 20 metres out, or Abdul's going to put that kick over to Talapapa. And it's taken, and it's LKR are going to get in here, I do believe. Comes across to Thackeray now, to this left-hand side, to Mariano. 15 metres out, Mariano. And Mariano's in a lot of agony there, I'm not sure what's going on but he's in a lot of pain. I think, were they appealing for a penalty there? Was it a, a, a late punch? <laughs> With this attempt. Oh, and he's oh, missed it. I can't it. believe that. Oh, my word. Pulled across the face of the sticks, but Featherston Rovers will get the ball back. Baldwinson. Uh, plays the ball, it goes to Thackeray, Thackeray away to Ormond-Royd. Ormond-Royd has to put the kick in on the last. Davis chasing it, it's taken, and it's Briggs, so it's back to one for Featherston Rovers. We play the ball, and it goes to Davis. Davis to Hardcastle, Hardcastle. He holds up, oh, and he's lost the ball on the 10 metre line, that's Hardcastle. Oh, no. After that Hardcastle error, unfortunate, he couldn't capitalise. Abdul, oh, Abdul with a great piece of play there. And he's got uh, support and he goes around Hartman. Abdul's going for the line. What a tackle by Thackeray, so important. It's the last tackle. Thackeray needs to get off him and he does. It's broken play, comes over to that left-hand side. Davies tries to gain. Oh, and the Hardcastle tell you with an important piece of play there. Hardcastle intercepts. It's going to be a whole KR putting at the scrum. Shaw plays the ball. It comes again to Ellis. Ellis lays it off to Chris Clarkson. Again, eight metres out. Clarkson's tackled by William Moore. It's in the middle to Scruton. Scruton tries to get the ball away, but important play by Wildy to stop him doing that. Goes on double half with Docker Clay. He's over the line, is Docker Clay. Featherston Rovers undone by a scoot from dummy half. A tired Featherston Rovers defence time though. Uh, it's the first time we've heard Red Red Robin coming out as uh, Ellis does convert that. That shows how tight this game has been. The, the whole KR fans haven't felt like singing yet until eight minutes remaining. So Featherston now going to have to muscle up. They're going to have to put this... Uh, Resolving for the last nine minutes of this game. <coughs> Keep there from Anthony Thackeray goes deep. It's picked up by the Robins on their own ten. But they've got 20 metres to return it in. So Rovers dropping off tackles now. But they'll come up with the ball with Josh Hardcastle. What a mistake. And this is the opportunity that Rovers need. Daryl Griffin now drives that ball into the 20. There's a penalty. Take the two Featherston Rovers. We've got four minutes left, Joanne. <laughs> this could pull Featherston Rovers level. Come on, Kyle. Briggs strikes it. It's through! Kyle it's Briggs it's takes it. the goal. He levels the scores up with three and a half minutes left in this game. Featherston Rovers 20, Hull KR 20. What's the betting? We're going to have a short kickoff from Ben Kakane. Five halfway. It comes to Thackeray. Thackeray puts the ball, boots the ball. He's going for touch. And the final hooter goes. Featherston Rovers have ended up drawing with Hull Kingston Rovers in this game this afternoon. They've earned a point. It could be an all important point. What a game. Featherston Rovers 20, Hull Kingston Rovers 20. Both sets of uh, players get a standing ovation from their respective fans. Featherston Rovers just equaling it up with that Kyle Briggs penalty with three and a half minutes left in the game. Here are the results from the Kingston Press Championship Round 16. Batley 20, Toulouse 28. Dewsbury 38, Bradford 12, Featherston Rovers 20, Hull KR 20, London 34, Halifax 6, Swinton 26, Oldham 4, Sheffield 38, Rochdale 14.